Jericho. Weird obedience pays off. Now that all the people had crossed the Jordan River following the ark, the first city to capture was the city of Jericho. But Jericho's walls were too tall. Too tall to climb. Too tall to break down. Too tall to attack. And the gates were sealed shut. Joshua was not sure what to do about the two tall walls, but whatever he needed to do, he was ready to do it. Suddenly, Joshua looked up, and there in front of him was a man holding a sharp sword. Joshua asked him, Whose side are you on, our side or our enemy's side? Uh, neither. I am the commander of the Lord's angel army, said the angel. Joshua bowed down with his face to the ground. Then I am your servant. I'm listening. What do you want to say? First, take off your shoes, for this is holy ground, said the Lord's commanding angel. We've heard that before, haven't we? So Joshua took off his shoes. Then the Lord's commanding angel told Joshua what to do. March, march, march around the city, said the angel. That sounds kind of weird. But do you know what Joshua said? He said, yes, sir. The angel told Joshua all the things they needed to do to take the city. So the next morning, the troops got up early. March, march, march went the soldiers and the priests around the city. Next, the angel had said, have the priests blow their trumpets while they march. Yes, sir, said Joshua. The priest blew the horns. Now do that six days in a row, the angel had said. Yes, sir, said Joshua. They got up early and march, march, marched around the city and blew, blew, blew the trumpets. One day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days. But the angel had special instructions for the seventh day. The angel had said, on the seventh day, march around the city seven times. Then at the end, shout like crazy, as loud as you can. Then the walls of that city will just fall down flat. Yes, sir, said Joshua. They got up super early on the seventh day because they had a lot of marching to do. March, 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 march. Went the troops around one, around two, around three, around four, around five, around six, around the city seven times while the priests blew their horns. Then Joshua shouted, Now! And ah! The people yelled and whooped and screamed like crazy. Suddenly, Crack, crack, then rumble, rumble, then crash, crash. Those two tall walls came down, 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 flat. Attack! Went all of Joshua's troops into the city. The city was theirs. It was totally destroyed. Not one of those two tall stones were left stacked on another. You see... Joshua's weird obedience to some seemingly strange instructions had worked. Obeying God always pays off, even when it seems weird and even when it takes some time and lots of marching orders. But just you wait. Anytime you choose to obey God, even when it seems kind of weird, you will never be disappointed.